What's up you guys? I've been wanting to make a quick video about a topic that's been in my head lately and that is hyper palatable foods. Now what are hyper palatable foods? I'm talking about foods that just really 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 satisfy your taste buds you know foods that are extremely rich in flavor whether it be like something like a chocolate brownie uh, like a fudge brownie or like a pasta that's made with a lot of butter uh, you know high fat foods that really really impact your taste buds and i wanted to talk about how if you eat a lot of those foods if you have a lot of those meals in your diet your body will get used to them and it will start craving them more and more and more now what does this mean this mean that you got this means that you're gonna have trouble sticking to a balanced diet you're gonna have trouble keeping the cravings away and if you don't have enough self-control you're gonna probably start gaining some weight now what i've noticed for myself is that currently my diet is i would say it's pretty balanced like I literally eat the same thing every day. For breakfast, I have uh, some egg whites with some turkey bacon, some spinach, and then some oatmeal that I that I uh, make with my own recipe. Super delicious, by the way. And then before I train, I eat a banana. After I train, I have me some uh, cereal, like a rice-based cereal with some uh, fat-free milk, so I could have some extremely fast digesting carbs to you know, fill back up my glycogen uh, stores and then protein for repair, you know. And then for dinner, I have some white rice, jasmine white rice, which is my favorite, and some type of protein. Lately, it's been either chicken breast or a uh, cod, uh, Pacific cod. And then for my last meal of the day, I have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with uh, some more fair life. And, you know, I've been, I'm enjoying that diet. I like all my meals. I don't feel like I'm forcing food down my throat and what i realized is that back then this approach for me probably would not have worked why because i was so used to eating you know what you would think are like very uh i was so used to eating very i guess you could say uh like hyper palatable foods you know like i would try to make the simple ingredients in my diet i would just throw in throw in a bunch of seasonings you know some oils here and there like some butter here and there and then you know after i would eat that I still wasn't satisfied so i would seek for like something sweet to satisfy those cravings when the weekend came i would be ready to just start binge eating on um all the foods that i held back from in the week and what i realized is that that was just it was it was feeding a, a pretty uh messed up circle for myself when that would set me up for a week of, you know, I guess good balanced eating and then just binge eating on the weekends. And honestly, that was my approach for my initial weight loss. Like I would keep it clean for the week and then pretty much binge eat on the weekends. And even though it did work, like I said, it starts being not just physically draining at some point because then you start, you know, sometimes you get the weight back and you feel like you're spinning your wheels, but also mentally it starts taxing your, your uh, mind and you just, you live the week just to be able to get to the weekend and have those foods that you've been craving. So ever since I, you know, I kind of picked up on that, I was like, okay, what could I do to make, you know, to make it feel like I'm being balanced. And if I want to eat that, yes, I could, but what, could I get to a point where I'm not even craving it to begin with? And I can honestly say that currently I'm, I'm in that point where you know, like I said, I enjoy all my meals. They're not like crazy recipes. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that get super creative with healthy meals. And honestly, that used to be me too as well. Like my Instagram would be filled with uh, recipes. That I would make like healthy pizza, you know, like I would just try to make it so that, you know, so so-called hyper palatable meals were able to fit in my macros and I would be able to eat. But what I realized this for myself, at least that long term, getting used to or eating more of the more basic ingredients like you know you have your grains you have your proteins you have your uh, healthy uh, healthy lean proteins you have your healthy fats avocado you know coconut oil and stuff like that the more I would eat those things the more my body would first of all feel amazing second of all started getting used to the taste and then third of all currently I actually enjoy those things and I don't feel like 
you know, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because my body's not like, oh, come on, feed me pizza. I want some pizza already. And I'm glad I've got to this point because, like I said, now I'm not benching on the weekends. I've actually started dieting like a couple of weeks ago. I'm down like four pounds. Yes, it's just a start. You know, as you diet, if you diet it before, you know that the longer you go in, the deeper the cut, the more uh, cravings you start having. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get to that point, you know, sometime down the road. But I don't think it'll be, it'll be as bad as before because, like I said, I'm enjoying all my meals. I've trained my body to enjoy, you know, the simple whole ingredients I'm putting in it. And I don't feel the need to start benching on hamburgers, pizza, you know, donuts, all those things that, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy, I will still go out and eat, like, you know, if, if I go out with friends and, you know, we're down for some pizza or something like that, like, I'll eat it, but I'm not to the point where I'm wait, just waiting for that moment, waiting to have that in my mouth, waiting to eat that, you know, and satisfy my cravings, and I truly attribute that to uh, me just eating healthy throughout, you know, throughout the months, throughout the weeks, year. And finally getting used to my meals, finally enjoying the simple ingredients that I'm putting in my body. And, you know, that came with a lot of discipline, a lot of self-control. I had tons of mess ups. Like I said, I would binge eat all the time, but I'm not there anymore. And I'm glad I'm finally here. And that's why I wanted to make this topic to encourage you guys to start, you know, start eating those healthy meals, start putting in your body those uh, lean proteins, those whole grains, those, you know, all those, uh, foods that aren't hyper palatable you know they're not pizza they're not gonna hit your taste buds like hard but they are gonna feel your body and you are gonna feel good and trust me the longer you do that the more your body's gonna get used to it the more it's gonna appreciate those tastes and the less likely that you are to pinchy and just wait for those uh moments where you could have a donut or pizza so that was a quick video regarding uh you know foods that are just to just hit your taste buds hard but <laughs> Down the road, you know, we know that those foods are probably not the healthiest for us. And trust me, the more healthy you eat, you know, the more your body gets used to it, the harder, the easier it becomes to keep it sustainable. And down the road, you know, still have those foods that you enjoy from time to time. It's all about balance, guys. Like I've been to extremes where I pinch and I've been at extremes where I'm eating super clean. And truly, truly, unless you're competing, unless this is like you know, you're going to, going into a show or something, you know, very drastic like that. A balanced approach is going to work better for long-term weight loss and long-term body changes. So with that in mind, guys, summer's about a summer's pretty much here, to be honest, in California. So uh, make sure you guys get started on those weight loss journeys that you guys have been putting off. Come on, gyms are opening now. No excuses. And now start making some changes, guys. Please, please. I encourage you guys to start making some changes. It's amazing what you could do when you put your mind into it. With that being said, like, subscribe, you know, share the content if you like. Uh, we'll be posting more stuff as always. Hopefully, things that help you guys on these uh, on this journey that's certainly not easy, but it's achievable. With that being said, thank you for watching. Have a good one.